I've worked at Turk Power Plant here in Fulton, Arkansas now for about three and a half years. I'm a coal handler. Uh, I uh, am responsible for dumping trains and making sure that coal gets to the plant. Uh, haul coal out, water coal piles to control dust. So it uh, keeps us busy. You know, it's right now it's the newest power plant that they have uh, in AEP's network. You know, we've, we've got the Edison Award, I think our first year, and um, we've been recognized, you know, uh, all around for being one of the cleanest plants. So this is the only ultra super critical coal-fired power plant in the United States. Uh, and what that means is, is we're putting more energy in the steam, basically. Now, there are super critical plants in the U.S which is pressure, higher pressure steam. The ultra part is higher temperature. So what makes this plant unique is the high efficiency boiler. That's tied to a very efficient turbine to convert that energy. And then we have other systems in the plant, extra feed water heaters, extra systems with, with every aspect of efficiency went into the design to burn less coal. And then after that, we have the latest technology to scrub that flue gas and remove all the pollution out of that flue gas before it goes out the stack. It's about 15% more efficient than any other fossil fire power plant in the U.S. Well, right now, the uh, regulatory rules has just made uh, virtually impossible to build any coal fire power plant. No one's really willing to touch starting construction on a coal fire power plant, not knowing where the regulatory is going to go because it keeps changing every few years. If we go to other uh, methods of making electricity, people's electric bills will, will increase substantially, you know, but some estimates double. You know, and I always ask people, can your parents afford their electric bills to double, or can your grandparents afford your electric bills to double? I am Travis Malheur. I work for Cabot Corporation as a project engineer. The drag line behind me is, uh, weighs about 8 million pounds. It has 7,000 horsepower. It runs on a long extension cord at 23,000 volts. It's an all-electric machine, so power costs are really critical to make an efficient operation. Our drag line is connected to an AEP power line as part of their grid that uh, includes the Turk power plant. We like the power costs we get through AEP because it's a lower cost power, which makes our cost per ton uh, a lower cost also. Affordable power makes our products less expensive to power plants, water utilities, and therefore the eventual end customer. So this has brought some very good paying jobs to this area, and that has a, a real trickle down effect to all the local uh, cities and towns around here. It's been a good experience for me, even though it's changed, it's changed my whole family. Now that uh, I've come to work out here, I mean, we've been able to get things that we never thought we were going to be able to. And our kids, we've actually got them put in better schools now. Uh, I've got a better daycare than I had before because I can afford more now. So uh, it, it is just really, it's helped, I know, me and my family out tremendously. And uh, I don't know what I, I don't know what would have really happened if I hadn't have come to work out here. So. I thought it's so foolish that you've really finally built one of the best coal plants, most advanced coal plants in the United States, and immediately they're saying it's the last one. It's, it's really a, a waste of technology if we don't keep growing this. Uh, other countries in the world are building this technology. They're getting the, the advancement from it. We should continue to get that also.